Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Solaris X, and I am here today to show you about speech synthesis using SheepChat. Basically, with speech synthesis, you can enable or disable text to speech. So basically, you can allow who you want uh, um, text to speech to be heard. Um, via audio so whenever people type in on, on on your twitch channel or whatever channel you got let's say I want to type in somebody's channel I press enter the Solarisks. lol and anything people chat it, it it works for bots as well um all the uh, messages will be transmitted via voice. But today I'm going to show you how to disable the bots. So um, whenever you use text to speech, it doesn't. It's not like too over um, spammy with messages coming through all the time, um, distracting the, the 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 overall experience. So with Sheep Chat, you can get Sheep Chat right by here. I I'll let you know right now. Give me a second. If you go to Google, type in sheep chat and you can get sheep chat multi chat for streamers. Click login. You can sign in with Facebook or Steam. Let's sign in with Steam. And over here, you got download button. You download this. It's absolutely free. Um, using the ship chat through the link. But if you want some extra options available, the best route to go is buying it off Steam. It's a one-off purchase. So if you go to ship chat Steam. And press enter. On on here, if you, if you, this is if you got Steam and uh, a Steam account, as you could see, I've already purchased it myself, and it's eight pound. So it's not a overall expensive thing. About ten dollars, uh, give and take, and. Um, you've got really good options on Sheep Chat, which I will run through you any second. Give me a sec. We, we, I'll show you the, the powers you can have with, with, with Sheep Chat. Sheep Chat allows you to have a chat screen on on the uh, streams. So when you so when you are on your streaming um, um, applications such as OBS or whatever you use, Streamlabs. What you need to do, you need to add. You need to add a new browser source. Name this chat, and then click OK. Oh, that's already taken. So let's. Uh, chatting click OK over here will give you a box the width let's say if you want the full screen width you which you can edit it afterwards which I can let you know in a bit you want 1920 by height 1080 so that's pixels of the width 1920 by pixels height 1080 so that's the 1080p quality resolution. And over here, what you want to do when you are on, when you've installed SheepChat to get connected, what you want to do is click the cog button, which is the settings button. And then you want to go down to Stream output and 
you can disable display of IP ad addresses, blah, 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 blah. So that's my option there. Chat widget. This is what you use to put in into your OBS. So the widget w would have a screen thing that, that, that um, if you like, let's say if you post your stuff later on down the line on YouTube, whatever is said in chat, um, YouTubers can read off. So you want to copy that. And whilst we here, we, we've done this here. We've added, did a, a new, we've done add new browser. Once we got the browser source sorted, the URL, um, you want to highlight this URL source, right click and then click paste. Then you want to click OK. And as you can see there, it's really big and really big. That's what she said. <laughs> um, everything's like, like it all in the middle and it's too large. So what you want to do, hold on Alt, take one of the corners, the square corners and drag it to the desired area. So do that with all four sides. One, two, three, four. And then you want to let go of Alt and then hold a corner and then drag that across. Then you want to put that into the top corner or left, right, or wherever you want to put it. So now, technically, i show you what, what it does now. So when we go on Twitch now, and whenever, whenever there's a new chat coming in. Fieselarisks. As you could see. H -H -H. As you could see, it's been transmitted into your area. So now you got your your screenshot sorted. You can change the layout and everything of your um screen by simply going appearance game mode. This will change this look. You can add your own, you can customize the templates uh or choose a theme. So you got like a decent amount of themes to go through. So we're going to click a theme, then click apply. And as you could see, your chat screen has changed to, to the your desired theme. So it, when you purchase sheep chat, as it's got all these um, decent options for you um, for connecting chat onto your screen and stuff like that. I usually use the Starlight because that is really qu quite a nice one to use. If you want to use this one, as you can see, everything is changing in the background. And over here, you've got delay the appearance of the message. so. You the, the the messages can be delayed. I usually use go for zero milliseconds because then as soon as chat comes in, it, it pops up on chat. Font size modifier. So you can change the size of the font, which is pretty decent. So if the fonts, you feel like they're a bit too small and you think you need bigger font, or if the font's too big, you just change them through that. Over here, opacity. Opacity. Basically, it this is to do with the screen of the chat and 
how seafood you want it for for and blending in with, with your gaming background so if we apply this because you put it all the way zero percent you cannot see the chart and if you put it to 100 percent as you can see it's um you could see the chart but it's not uh um blending in with the background over here auto messages timer specified zero seconds basically um when do to do you want the the messages to automatically hide so if you put it on zero seconds that that means that the chats um will not be um um hidden after so long but if you put it 480 seconds 60 120 120 plus 120 is 240 240 plus 240 is 40 so if you want the chats to to be hidden after eight minutes you put it all the way up to uh, 480 seconds those of you who like to keep every chat in, in, in into that section just leave it blank put it down to zero seconds over here the maximum number the maximum number of messages in the stack so you can again this is the amount of messages that you can display in, in chat so let's say if you want one message coming up per time you click one But I usually use 25 messages per stack, so um, all the messages will not be hidden. Plus, it will not just read just one message at a time in this stack. It will read up to 25 before it goes to the next um, message. Over here, we've got disable alpha mask, enable alpha mask. Disable or enable header and show statistics. Disable statistics. Basically, with these statistics, what statistics are? Um, who's following you? Who's uh, um, who uh, checking your current viewers and stuff like that? So, if you don't want to disable your statistics and you want to show how many viewers you go in chat and stuff like that you you want to show statistics disable interaction window with the mouse so i usually leave that blank i have no idea what that means so i'm not going to even um touch that we're going to go to generals download me message history i usually use uh i usually Turn that on. I have I haven't sorted that that side of things yet. Um, so future um tutorial maybe on on download history message and reading it might be for the future, depending on if if, if I learn how to how to find this message history. But the reason why download message history is a ideal. Let's say if somebody is misbehaving in chat and stuff like that, uh, and and you like to find out what the names are and stuff like that to know who to ban for future reference. Downloading the message history would allow to see what messages have been said, and then with that, if you you uh, see anything. Um, bad or suspicious you can connect to your twitch channel and you can deal with the punishment via uh, um, um, knowing what, what they said through this keep the size the of the main window i just disable all these um, we're coming down disable link previews so if we got any any links in chats and stuff like that, um, it disables that. Allow animated GIF image in chat. We'll enable this. So so if there's any GIFs coming through, 
it will be put on, on, on onto the chart here. Disable display messages in in chat. I have no idea what that means, so I'll leave that blank. Preview size adaptive. So basically, it's adaptive. If if it needs to be adjusted, it will auto automatically be adjusted. Preview size. Oh, we said that currency. So if there's any like um, donations or anything like that given to the streamer, it will be in chat. Will be read in American in rubles or European, that's the um, European British pound. Disable sent error reports. I have no idea what that means, so I, I disable that. So sound, default playback device communication. This is to do with um, how, how the, the sound comes through. So whether you want to come in through the TV or a speaker or your headphones in this case i want all, all, all the sound coming through my headphones so therefore i would pick default playback device because i got my playback device as my headphones headset earphone right by there so default will be whatever device you are currently using to to listen to the communication synthesis speech and uh, this is the volume how loud you want the audio to be so once you got default playback and synthesis of speech 100 percent click on apply emotes use emojis use built-in stream emotes that that they they will if you enable them, the, the, the emotes and stuff like that will come up in chat. But, and all this better TV, TV. So, so basically, this is all the emotes can be, all, all, all the areas that, that the emotes can be transmitted from. Filtering messages. Let's say in your chat box, if, if you want to filter certain swear words. Uh, disable anti-flood so so basically if people are flooding and spamming messages it will disable that so we can enable that block all messages except whitelist all right so just keep that disabled for now word filter we want to replace them with asterisks so if there's any any um provocative awful goddamn awful words um being put in here you'll, you'll show them with asterisk or we can delete it completely if i use asterisk then i know somebody's using a certain word that that i am blocking so we click apply words through space so we can add this word and we're going to add this word we can add this word basically this is the words that are going to be blocked in chat so if if anybody is using those words it's going to be filtered with asterisks this way I know somebody's used those words and I can deal with, with the issue from there. Notification. Enable interactive reactions, flying stickers. So if you've got like flying stickers and stuff like that, it, um, I usually keep that enabled. I, didn't, I haven't sorted that part out yet, so bear with me on that part. Play sound. Then a voice, so basically new chat message. So when everybody, whenever some people are chatting, it will make a sound, and then a voice saying blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. So and so and so so messaged. Play sound file, so you can have your own sound file, uh, um, whatever sound you want played in 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 the thing. So let's say if if things you can ch change it but by 
changing the sound file. Over here, play sound and voice are disabled because I use Zengals for that. General events, combination executed. So we come into here. I've enabled that and I've enabled speak. So in the main window, game mode, chat widgets, other widgets and all that will be transmitted. So if if anybody, the text of the message combination is executed key. So basically, if anybody is following me, subscribes to me, so I could do followers, configure. And if if we just put one down a minute, yeah. I have no idea about these things, so I, I just leave them alone. Followers. If we click configure on followers, um we can do enable uh, and we can speak it. So basically, not only will it be transmitted here to show uh, um, um, the who's following, but it would also tell me in the speech synthesis, text to speech, so and so and so followed you, blah, 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 blah. So it will be shown in the main window. It will be shown in the game mode, which is right by here. It will be shown in chat widgets and other widgets. Subscribers, again, if people subscribe, we take all them. Any donations, um, allow that to be transmitted through. Join chat. I've enabled join chat. So, so in the game mode, um, it, it will tell you who's joined my chat, but I will not have it saying who's joined chat or who's left chat because that can be off-putting for some viewers and they might be discouraged to join or leave the, the channel. So they can read who's joined and, and left channel in the uh, chat screen, but it will not be read out loud through text-to-speech. Leave chat. Again, whoever left chat, I am not going to have it, uh, my te text to speech saying so and so and so left the chat because that can be discouraging for some view viewers. So I just left that blank. The next thing, speech synthesis, is our text to speech. You can disable text to speech and stuff like that. I usually keep it on installed on your PC. So basically, voices that 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 are pre-installed on the PC, you can use that. And over here, you can have different... Hi, this is a test message. Different styles on, on how you Hi, want... this is a test message. The, ...the speech to be uh, um, transmitted, what voice you want, basically. So basically, um, over here... Hi, this is a test message. That's Mads. You can have Naja. Hi, det er en test meddelelse. That's the Danish voices. You can have Dutch voices. Dit is een testbericht. Ru you can have Ruben. Dit is een testbericht. And this is the English speaking synthesis. Hi, this is a test message. So all the English speakers. Um, Hi. This is a test message. So you, you, you get the picture. It's 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 all all um you given the, the the Hi, this is a test message. You given the speech a personality, a character. Hi, this is a test message. Hi, this is a test message. So Hi, this is a test message. Use Whatever one you want, and of course it has got different languages. Of course, it's got different languages depending on where you are. Um, so, so. Привет. Это тестовое сообщение. So you could hear your messages in that language. Hi. This is a test message. 
over here playback speed so how fast you want the 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 the, the sound to sound hi this is a text message so basically if it's too fast you won't be able to understand it if it's too slow it will take too long hi this is a text message so basically you want it in between where where hi this is a test message i usually use zero percent so so it, it transmits at, at a normal pace hi this is a test message <laughs> reach our messages from users read read the nicknames so basically let's say if somebody connects in chat saying something in chat it will read the nicknames like jason delaware and stuff like that so basically you you want to enable the next because you want to know who said what message basically and messages from users it reads messages from users it this here it reads the smiles over here read symbols such as uh, quotations and stuff like that so so basically if i send a smile in chat The Solarisks. That 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 didn't didn't come through for some reason. So basically, it, it um it said that I said something, but it didn't read the smile because it removed the smile for some reason. And over here, mapping the viewer and voice. Nickname, channel, voice, and volume. So basically, how loud do you want um, the the voices to be uh, uh, heard and stuff like that? I usually use a blank because um, I use standard volume to, to hear whatever because I don't want it to be too loud and I don't want it to be too quiet in 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 hearing what people are saying. Blacklist and channel. You want to click add. And if we do channel, a username from, from Twitch, basically. And if we do my username, and then click apply. Now if we do this. Is not reading it because I've disabled my mm, I've disabled um, voice to, to speech with my username. So to enable it, just click the the X button right by here, the the red X, and click apply. So now when we say something, the Solarisks, lol. It will read it. So, blacklist. Basically, who do you want to have the voice in, in channel? White list of voices again. G give me two seconds whilst I. Nightbot. Oh. This is a tutorial on text minus to minus speech synthesis. As you can see, because I have. Accepted everybody uh, um, on text to speech. That's the reason why Nightbot has come through because I got that on timer. And what I want to do now, because I've added a lo load already, I'm going to go over here. I want to load this a minute. So now what I'm doing is restarting the thing, and you could see how. Uh, where to add the list on who you want um, as text to speech. So if we go to the cog button again, I do apologize. It's a bit of a lengthy uh, 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 tutorial. It's just showing you the benefits of using SheepChat basically. Uh, speech synthesis. Over here, whitelist. So basically, people I want on 
on hearing or, or on what, what people are saying. So now, if I say something, it will not come through because I am not in the whitelist. So if I whitelist myself, come down to add the Twitch user. As you can see, there was another bot that does come through. It didn't come through under um, um, speech to chat because you haven't whitelisted them to be able to be transmitted to text to speech. So now if I go here, use my username, and then click apply. So anytime. The Solarisks, LOL. As you can see, now because I put myself in the whitelist, anytime my username shows up, it will be read as text to speech, which will be transmitted to voice when when you when you you playing VR games, you could hear the Solaris X coming through. Stream output, we've ex uh, uh, we we discussed about the chat widget, uh, vote widgets. So if you go like anything like voting and stuff like that, I haven't used that just yet. Subscription and notices widget. So basically if people have subscribed or any, any sort of notices, it, it will read that in, in, in your screen. Um, Over here, default event followers, blah, 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 blah. So, so whatever events you, you want to be added to, to your widgets, you add them here. So it is a very, very powerful, very easy once you know, very easy once you know, tool to use. Connection. This is how um, the, the chat Sheep chat knows what channel to transmit from. So let's say we, we want channel. Uh, let's duplicate this tab a minute. Let's say somebody's live. Uh, let's say Tally. Sounded like a fucking duck vomiting. I just got like continuous chats there. We want to copy your username and then we want to add service Twitch. The service is the platform that you want to use ShipChat with. So if you want to use it, look, look at the benefits of this. Brime, Gamers TV, Gypsy, Glimmish, Good Meme, Mob Crush, get all these different different services you can use but because tally is in in um on twitch we want to use the twitch service and channel usually the username And then click save. And then when we click apply, now anything that is said in that person's channel is transmitted to um over to 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 your, the screen so basically if you want to connect with, with other people um other people's channel whilst you are streaming and you're doing a collab stream and you want to read off both um um channels you want to do service whatever um service they're using and then channel we use my channel for now because that's the place we want to go to. OK. 
Give me a sec. Add channel. I'm just going to go back to my username. Copy this. Paste it here. Save. Service, username, save, apply. So now this is going to change to to what's been said in my channel. So to connect with, with your channel, just go to... to services and connected through that http server uh, i usually keep it to 49135 and that that generally works appearance custom templates you can create your own template i'll have to um, sort that out one day i've been meaning to create my own template anyway so um I will be going through that as soon as I sorted it out. Game mode shows statistics. Disable alpha mask. We've been through all this. Main window. Basically, the, the main window is this window here. So basically, I could show you right now. If we clear this and then click apply, you're using the main window uh, uh, um, background so if you want a Star Wars background when you're playing Star Wars games and you want the main window as a Star Wars background you can but because currently I'm doing my 10th anniversary on Twitch I'm using the 10th anniversary background you can Choose to lighten the color, darken the color, font size of the main window. Obviously, you don't, you don't want it too big, so, so the chat is cannot be read. And also, you don't want it too small, where, where it, it cannot be read. The, this actually looks really, like a really nice, clear... Um, window to have color rise. Um, for it's quite difficult to focus on that. Um, uh, dark. So yeah, basically, just go with the flow. And no more. Obviously, you can choose your own background. So theme, I use dark because I'm into my dark things and dark for me is easier to read stuff with. Blending, you can blend the background. So that's that. Entertainment features, you can add entertainment features. So um, keyboard shortcuts, if we want any um, commands and um, what the commands you want to say and stuff like that. Here's documents on how to set up the entertainment features. Um, well, this here's links on how to set up the commands and stuff. Votes, if, if you've got anything like voting in games and stuff like that, you can add it through that. Uh, so basically, disable revoting, or you can have people to revote. So basically, this is polls and stuff like that. Lottery, you can add lottery to, to your channel. Um, advanced features, you can recover and reset 
your sheep chart miscellaneous so restart application and reset settings so basically if you want to refresh the sheep chart to its default settings you do restart application and reset settings if you if um you want to clean up the ca cache files of your sheep sheep chart you do clear cache uh, performance you can um help help with the performance you can use this enable hardware acceleration or disable game mode uh miscellaneous there's a few miscellaneous things there as well so this has been a complete rundown of sheep chat and how to use it how to come by in using the speak the text to speech with sheep chat and have um the bots not not be be utilized for text to speech how to change the themes on your um sheep chat uh, um screen uh how to change your 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 background on your main screen of your sheep chat basic uh, uh notifications and stuff like that i do hope this has been a very useful tutorial for you and i do hope um it helps you and over here i um this is another thing i use mix it up bot i use this one mainly for um sound notification not notifications so if somebody chats in chat i hear a ping uh right, to set that up what i usually do i go to the settings menu i go to alerts uh will be different color alerts there to show what kind of alert it is notifications is the sounds so basically any chat sound message any chat message sound so if if there's just casual sounds i hear this sound so that's transmitting any sounds sounds chat tag sounds so if i hear my username being mentioned in chat I hear this sound. If I if I get a new whisper, this um this mixer bot works for whispers as well. If I if I have any 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 whispers, I get I, I receive this sound. SMS received. So this will tell me if I get a whisper, it or on Twitch. And service connect or disconnect, I disable them because I don't, don't want to keep hearing sound um, that that mixer output keeps connecting and disconnecting. This also can be off-putting to the community. Themes and colors, you can change themes and colors. The chat. Um, I'm I'm quite new to mixer output, so all this I I got to play around with and and find, find out for myself okay if i go to nightbot quickly i'm gonna remove my timer a minute my test timer timers all right this year i would like to remove so i can click delete again with I use Nipod for certain timed messages, certain commands and stuff like that. I I use um stream elements for commands. I I use and uh, this one here is again useful to set up a um Twitch bot username and stuff like that. And you can you got lots of things with Streamlabs chatbot, which is a very useful which is a very useful tool to use. So all you have to do is just have a look around with this and you got stuff like giveaways, quotes, timers, commands and stuff like that to use with your channel. Um, so yeah, I hope this is useful G general um, rundown on, on certain bots and how to 
utilize text to speech properly using SheepChat. All the best, take care, adios.